So Landon was not diagnosed until he was four. And I started uh, asking questions about his health issues when he was nine months old. So it was a very long, um, drawn out, um, several years of misdiagnosis until uh, 2011. So from uh, the middle of 2007 until 2011 uh, to diagnosis. Well, it's a lot of preparation every day. Um, I get up an hour before everyone else gets up just to meal prep for Landon for the day to make sure he has a packed lunch and a breakfast and a snack when he comes home. Um, and then just making sure that he feels good in the morning, that he has energy. Um, so it's a lot of preparation and we just can't fly by the seat of our pants. We just can't uh, live in the moment with this disease. So it makes it very challenging. Uh, the biggest issue we face with Landon with his care is, is making others understand um, how serious it is because Landon appears normal on the outside. He looks healthy um, and he is healthy by all means of the disease, but the biggest challenge is definitely our families still want to uh, feed Landon things he cannot have. My biggest concern with homeless cystinuria is the long-term effects of the medication that the, uh, Landon takes on a daily basis and uh, the effect overall on his body. Uh, when he's 50, will he have a good liver, a good kidneys? Um, will he be able to live a long, normal, healthy life? Landon's future, my, my hope for Landon's future is that he can feel, uh, have some normalcy in his life. Um, right now, Landon really struggles with uh, where he fits in, and I just want him to not have to pause so many times in his day to take a formula or take a pill uh, or plan so carefully. My single greatest hope for homocystinaria would be obviously a cure. Um, I would love if they, they could cure it and we didn't have to worry about it for anyone anymore, um, but better screening would be my greatest hope. Uh, the message I'd like to communicate to the homocystinuria community would be to never give up. To, if you feel something's going on with your child or you have questions about diet or medication, to continually push um, until you are satisfied and comfortable with the answer you receive.